Hi there, my name is Simon and I'm a product manager here at Phrase and I'd like to talk to you about Phrase Language AI as an integration within strings and the benefits that come with that. Right now you can see a default project that we have set up where we have some translations that require our attention into German and Spanish from English and we want to make sure that we can utilize the benefits of Phrase Language AI in this translation effort. Now Phrase Language AI is a really interesting tool that combines multiple translation engines to together to then give you the best result out of those using some very, very clever background technology. To make sure this is enabled, we'll go to the uh, settings and then organization settings. And you'll see within that environment under machine translation that you have the uh, new default provider option showing phrase language AI. And underneath that, you can see phrase language AI as a machine translation profile. Phrase language AI's machine translation profiles are controllable options which allow you to select particular language pairs uh, to meet your particular needs. I can show you what this looks like over here. If we go into TMS and language AI, you can now see the different profiles we have enabled. And if we go to the phrase language AI one, I click on edit. You can see that we have all these fully managed controls with the different engines uh, enabled. And we can then turn these off and on using these uh, options and we can add more engines as required. We also have glossary support down here. Here, which you'll see if I click on this attached option here. You can see these particular uh, translations from English into Spanish, and these will connect directly in and overwrite any particular uh, controls that uh, the machine translation engine would normally use, because it, if you want to have dedicated controls of your, um, your translations, then you have the option to override that. So if I just go back to the control for this, I'll show you that you can actually make some quick changes on that before I then show you the translation functionality in action. So if I go to detach from profile, back over here in your term bases in strings, you have that particular language AI uh, glossary or term base set up. And if you wanted to add that, you would simply attach glossary, select that one, click attach, and it's enabled. Back over in the actual glossary in the term base environment, if I wanted to make changes to this, then I could simply add a term. I will call this, I don't know, test en, and it can be translated. And we'll go start in English, test en, and I want it to be in Spanish, test es. We'll call it that, and then save. And then back in the turn based controls, we can update in Frank Phrase Language AI, and it's now going to be updating that as a machine translation glossary. When you then go into your projects, and we'll just go into our test project here, and we'll look at translating from English. If you select a particular key and then select the target language, it'll now suggest to you, if I give it one moment, here we go. The appropriate translation from phrase language AI. Uh, and if I were to press down, you're going to see the little icon that indicates its source and click save and it will be working as intended. And if you were to use the particular um, glossary terms, then it would give you the ability to show that and to overwrite any particular uh, language AI or other machine translation pairing to make sure the glossary support is enabled. So I hope that's been helpful, but if you have any questions, please contact our lovely customer success team and they'll be able to help you out with any additional questions. Thank you very much.